Hello. It is time for us to understand the complete process step by step. We are going to use git, github and the commands that we are going to use will help us in pushing the content into the github through the git and we are going to learn this step by step. First thing is you need to download the git and keep it ready. I have got the link here for you git-sem.com slash downloads. This is the link that you need to go and there you will get the latest version of the git available for you and since my operating system is windows i have chosen that and i am installing it that's all it is just like another installation and you will not need a lot of time for the installation once done go to the command prompt and type git if it gives you whatever you are seeing in front of you the list of commands available it means the installation is all proper now i have got the installation done the next step is to go ahead and act on it but before that, we need to create an account in the GitHub so that we can link our Git and GitHub properly and we can push files, pull files, all those things we can do. Now, if you want to create an account in the GitHub, it's very simple. You need to go to github.com. There, the moment you get in, you have sign up and sign in option, which you are seeing right in front of you. I'm going to type github.com. You can see sign up and sign in option. If you do not have an account till now, I recommend you to create it right at this shot. But if you have an account, you can sign in. Remember what's the username that you have given and what's the email ID that you have linked. This is very important. Now having done that, let's create a file which we are going to play around with the git and github. I create a directory called as git underscore example and inside that what I'm doing is I am creating a text file. This text file is the one that I'm going to push onto the git, commit, play around all those things. The name of the text file is git demo text.txt. The content in the text file is very simple. This is the first time we use the git. That's all. This is the content. I have saved it. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to get this into the git. But before that, we need to get the thing set up in the command prompt for the git. For that, we need to go ahead and first reach the directory where I have kept this file. We are getting into the C drive first because I have my git underscore demo underscore text dot file dot txt file in that particular uh, drive. So I'm getting in there. You can see that the file is git underscore demo underscore text. That's all. Now the first step is to do an initialization. Git init. The moment you do it, you will get a dot gat directory inside that particular folder and it will have the complete directory structure for you. Now this is the intimation that initialization has happened properly. Now sometimes you may not be able to see it because you might not have enabled to see the hidden items. This is dot .gat, so hidden. So you need to enable that. Next step is staging. I need to use git add space dot. This enables staging. This particular file goes to the next level, which is called staging. And this is done through the command git space add space dot dot is current directory. So once it is done, it's going to be very easy for you with the next step, which is to understand what is the status, how many files are to be committed. You can see that with the command git and git status, you get to know that git underscore demo underscore text.txt file alone has to be committed. That's the only file where changes are there. So we are going to go ahead with the commit right now. Git commit hyphen m with some comments. This comments will be always linked to this commit. So every time when you do a comment, it's recommended to have a comment. So now you can see that one file changed, one file particular file which we have worked on is changed. Now we can go ahead to the status checking and now there is nothing to commit. Working tree is clean, which means we have created a file, we have committed it, there is no change now, so there is no need to do anything now. So the committing part is done. Now let's get into the GitHub. I need to note down my username, Sriram KV. I need to note down my email ID. The email ID is sriramkv at gmail.com. So both these are to be noted. Now I have to link my git to github. So for that we have configuration commands available. So git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name. In, in the double quotes you need to give the username that you have seen there in the github. So Sriram KV was the name that I have given there. So you are connecting it here. You are configuring it here. We can check it once more. Yes Sriram KV no uppercase there. Now it's done. Once it is set let's check if it has been really set. So I'm going to remove the Sriram KV and the command is user.name, that's all. Now I'm going to connect my email ID. So user.email, whatever email ID you have seen there, sriramkv at gmail.com, it's going to come here right away and you can see that it's also set. Now we can check if it has been set by user.email command. That's it, we have connected properly both the ends. Now we can go ahead to the next step. Well, what is the next step? I need to push this file into the GitHub, right? That's the total target. So I need to create a repository to where I can push it. This is from the GitHub. So let's give a repository name. 
you can give something as you wish demo underscore git is the name that i want unfortunately the name is already given so i make it as git zero now you can add a readme file if you want but otherwise you can skip it but it is preferred to add now i have created a repository you can go ahead and push the file whatever you can merge you can add the file whatever you have created in the back in your machine into this easily we have already created a repository so we are going to use the second half of the command we are going to remote add the link is available there right in the top and we need to just copy paste that link here git remote add origin with the link which it has given in the top so remote add is done now next step is branch hyphen capital m main that is done branching is done now we are pushing it the moment you push it this particular file gets into your github and the repository is already connected to it so it goes under that repository that's all so we are all done with that now if you check that if you have got the file whatever you have had in your system through the git you have pushed into the github and that is now visible here you can double click it to see the content also this is the first time we use git very clearly visible isn't it so what we have done very simply we have created a file we have used git to get the commit done properly and we verified the status also after that then we knew the name of the username and the email id of the github account then we connected them together properly with the configuration stuff then we went on creating a repository and then we did all the steps as it guided us remotely we have connected it we have added that and then we have done the branching and finally we have pushed it the moment you push it whichever git demo text file that you are seeing in front of you was available locally it was made available in the github for you now anybody can access it anybody can be shared with that you can even have collaborators all those things i will tell you a little later now for now this is a very simple step which i hope you have understood now we are going to the next level where we will start sharing this content we will start using the contributors concept and we will have contributors right now what is the whole purpose of this git and stuff github git all those they are all connected right the fundamental concept behind github or anything that you use any uh, tool of that sort is all git only so the main purpose is to share main purpose is to ensure that you track the versions so what we are going to do is i am going to share right now i am going to add a collaborator how do we do that it's a very simple process now i have already got a repository with me called demo underscore git zero and when i click and go into that there is something called a settings and inside that you have got a collaborator option so i am going to invite one of the users and there you can mention the name of the collaborator or the email id the name should be the git username so i have mentioned the email id here and i am sending the invite right away to the collaborator and the collaborator would have got the invite right now and on accepting the invite they will be able to go ahead and start working with the same repository we will see that how exactly it is done now this is the collaborator pc i have taken it from a different laptop so what i'm going to do is i will see if exactly they have gotten a mail request from us from me from shriram the request has been given to somebody else let's see if the request has gone there the first mail is that there is a request to collaborate view invitation when you click it will take you on to the correct portal and once the invited collaborator accepts the invite in this case it is sunandini you can go to code and you can now get the link to clone that particular repository into your system locally which means if you are my collaborator you will get all these into your system locally because i invited you and you accepted the invite simple now what i'm doing here is you can see i am cloning i mean as a collaborator the next person this is a different account right so you need to assume that it's a different account and see the way things are happening here now it has been cloned into a different machine altogether which different user has now that user is getting into the demo underscore get zero repository which is downloaded locally into their machine so the sharing is enabled and here they can start making changes they can add files and they can push it back into the same repository that's what is going to happen now now the second user who is the collaborator is adding a new file and that new file is test underscore sunandini that's the name of the user and there whatever they can type is going to be saved from sunandini it is done now it's saved now this file should be pushed on to the github again so how do we do it it's very simple so git add space dot that's done so this will add it into that now we will check the status if you have any other files available there the only new file which is to be committed is test underscore sunandini.txt now we are going to give a commit git commit space hyphen m from sunandini now it's all committed this is committed so understand it is committed now git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name 
it is to validate if it is the correct username now we are validating the email id also just to check if it is all right now we are going to do a git push git push origin main the moment you do this we are pushing the content so this newly created file will be made available into the git we are pushing it into the github so let's see if it has come into the github it is the github account of sunandini i have given her access and she has pushed it into the github that's it it's very simple i repeat what has happened is very simple i have invited sunandini to be a collaborator she has accepted the collaboration offer and she has created a file in the same repository after cloning it and downloading it into her machine locally and then she added it and then she did the push the push is now enabled and the push has made that test underscore sunandini new file to come in into the github now the owner of the repository who created it is sriram that is me but the collaborator is sunandini who is also able to add content into this particular repository and that's what has been shown to you right now it's time for us to again switch back to my account sriram's account to see if we have really got those kind of push reflecting here in the owner's repository which means owner's my my account so i want in there i can see the test underscore sunandini.txt available there you can see it is sriram kv so it's very simple right i have given her access she has created a file she has become my collaborator and she is pushing content into the same repository which is now available for everybody now developers can work together as collaborators and they can get contents pushed into the git and everybody can start accessing it this is the simplest way you can understand how git works this is very interesting try it out and if you have any questions you can always ask me i'll be able to clarify let's get into more learning we have got some more things here so we will learn that too it is time for us to know another option called as forking right i am not your collaborator but i want to contribute for example the many open source projects right there could be multiple persons there could be many people who are working on the same project and they need not be collaborator so what they can do is they can use an option called as forking and yet they can contribute but definitely with the approval of the owner now how do we get it i am going to demonstrate it to you now i have got a, a repository called as demo underscore git zero i am getting into the account of sunandini now this is sunandini murali dharan's account which means that she is going to fork she is going to get this forked and she is going to contribute but she is not a collaborator i have not invited as a collaborator but she is able to fork this content anybody who has got the proper link can fork it and they can also start contributing but again there needs to be an acceptance from the guy who created it from the owner we can call let's see we have got a, a repository called as demo underscore git zero and sunandini is now forking it you can see that the repository name is demo underscore git zero and the username is sunandini murli dharan now it is creating a local copy for her account it is available now now it is forked from sriram kv but it is available at sunandini murli dharan also do you understand now the same file is available here right so now what is the next step to do we are going to go into the git locally and we will see how we can start contributing i am taking this link because i need to go ahead with cloning this so git clone the link is given there that's all it is done now we are cloning it locally into sunandini's machine now this machine the local machine of sunandini will have this now let's get into the directory demo git zero she has gone in into now you can see that the complete path commands everything is very clear so what she has done is she has forked it and she must have got the directory available in her machine locally that's available there and you can see that she is going to add something more to it i'm going to add one more file here so test something like this is the file that is getting added into it but not as a collaborator so test zero is added this is some content just being typed into the file so demo zero or something now first step add it git space add space dot and what is the next step we need to understand status there is only one file which has to be committed so now we are going to commit git commit hyphen m from sunandini she is not a collaborator remember that point now it is all done it is committed now what is the next step we need to go ahead with checking if the email id if the username everything is proper so it is sunandini murli dharan because we are connecting this git to github and it has to be connected to the right account now how do we do it git push origin main and this will push it into her account 
So now if you go to GitHub of Sunandini, there, there will be a new file which is available. Text 0txt is available, but this will not reflect in Sriram's account. This is not going to be in Sriram's account, but this is going to be in the repository of Sunandini. Now to reflect it, to make it reflect in Sriram's account, new pull request has to be given. So just go to pull request and there new pull request is there and you can see that there is a create pull request. Just check if all the parameters are okay. You can see that which is the head repository, all these things you can check. And if you create a pull request, it will also show you what are all the files that you are going to send, what are the files that, what are the changes that you have done. So uh, green color is an addition, red color is a deletion. All those things you can start using it. And if you want to write a comment, you can write it. Create pull request is done. Now there will be a notification which will go on to Freeram and Freeram has to approve it. And once he approves it, that will become available for everybody. Now the commit request, the commit is done by Sunandini. She has sent a pull request. The pull request has gone to Sriram. Sriram has to agree to it. And with that, it will all be over. I am going to show you that right now. This is Sriram's email ID. That is my email ID. Now you can see that there is a request. Now, once you get the email, you can check your uh, GitHub also directly. There will also be a, a notification which you can see. There will be a pull notification which will be available. I'm just refreshing because I have been staying in the account for a long time without modification of much things. There is a new pull request which has come. Just click on to that and you click merge pull request, confirm merge. That's all. It's all done. Now it is available for everybody. Just refresh the repository page. You will find the new file which has been sent in by Sunandini without being a collaborator, yet it was done through forking. That's all. Your entire Git learning is simplified. That is it. So it's a very simple learning. Try it out. And in case you have any doubts anywhere, you can reach me out. I'll be able to clarify. Thank you.